right, so we've got the arm modeled out here, and in this lesson we're going to be modeling the leg. So my character kind of looks like he's got these little shorts on, or briefs or something, and then a little kind of stick leg coming out of here. I think for uh, the purposes of this uh, lesson, I'm just going to do a little bit more of a generic leg. Uh, maybe not quite as thick as the shorts are, but kind of maybe halfway in between, and just come straight down into uh, what's going to be the foot area. So again, I'm going to look for uh, four faces on the bottom of the character, and his, let me grab this edge right here. He uh, has legs that kind of come off of the side of his uh, body here. So his hips kind of start up here, and, and legs sort of uh, merge out of that and go straight down. Uh, some characters have, uh, you know, uh, legs kind of coming uh, out from the bottom here. So I'm going to be using this edge right here as the starting point, and I know this line right here, or this edge, is the center line of my character that runs all the way around. So uh, I want this to be the center point of the character when I come to my side view. Here we go. I want this to carry through uh, the character all the way down. Uh, however, it's kind of uh, working more at the, it's kind of lined up more at the back of the character's legs. So again, I'm going to turn on my edge slide here and uh, grab some of these edges. I think I'm just going to grab the bottom ones here and let me turn symmetry on and use the move tool and bring this forward till right about here. Okay, and then I'm going to just kind of clean up the vertices right here, so pulling that forward a little. Actually, I think I could have kept uh, that right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this one back and just kind of space these out a little bit more evenly. And I still have a little bit more shape uh, to work on as far as the back of the character here, so at some point uh, I'll be probably drawing in an edge that goes around the buttocks here in the back, this area around here. Um, but for now I'm just going to kind of uh, use this as, let's see here, let me see about using this as the back part of the leg. Okay, let me turn this off, pull this down. So again, I'm looking for four uh, faces that I can use, and I'm looking at roughly these four right here that are going to uh, be the beginning of the leg area or hip socket. And then for uh, this area back here, I'll just kind of quickly come in here and sort of draw this out. So I'm going to just start here on the center and kind of go across. And I don't think it liked that center point right there and come along here and hit return and then I just need to connect these up right here so I'm going to turn symmetry off and just go from here to here and enter. Cue to get out of that and uh, I've got these little areas here that I'll need to clean up so let's just come in here and Take care of that, and actually I don't uh, mind that. Uh, that kind of pulled it down a little bit at first. I thought maybe that was too much. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and do symmetry on with this. So let's merge that, and it is, there we go. The threshold was just a little off, and I'm going to push this down. This is going to start rounding out uh, the back area here. Okay, so something like that. Rounding that out. Kind of a little tail area right there. Okay, so uh, I'll come back here and do a little bit more shaping on this uh, once we kind of get things situated with the, the legs here. So I want to get the legs going next. Okay, so let's uh, let's take these four faces here. I'm going to turn my 
grid off so we can see. So these four faces again, uh, here's my selection. I'm going to turn uh, symmetry, actually I'll, I'll go ahead and leave symmetry on. I'm going to take uh, and turn on the transform constraint edge slide and I'm going to go to vertex and I'm going to do very much the same thing here where I start shaping an opening of uh, the hip joint area, hip socket. And we're also going to take this and extrude it in and create a an area uh, very much like this around the leg before it actually turns into the leg. So it too will deform properly when it's uh, animating. Okay, I feel like these are sticking out a little bit. So with this right here, I'm going to have to turn edge slide off to pull that out. Okay, like that, and oops, I'm going to go to my front view here, and actually that looks like it's pretty on target right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and so if I were making a character that had kind of no foot, that's kind of a popular thing to do where you just have a kind of a nub that comes down here and they sort of stand kind of like a little bit of a an elephant uh, leg. I would just uh, I'm gonna do this actually we sort of I forgot I had that on there. Let me turn that off so I'm gonna just double click on here and turn off uh, generated. Okay and take these down to one and hit extrude and if I pull that out we want to go more to, uh, let me just go ahead and turn this off here. Center that and pull them down. So if I were uh, kind of making a little character with these kind of nubby legs, I would just sort of, uh, first of all, leave this on down here and then just create some edge loops. So I'm flattening this out at the bottom by pulling the, the Y, um, Actually just flipped over to the other side there, the Y uh, scale. And then I would come in here and do some edge loops like this and straighten those out and maybe just grab these vertices on the bottom here and scale them in. And then you kind of get this uh, foot here, you know, put in a couple more of these and I would have kind of a a leg that sort of uh, just kind of came down a little bit more like a, an elephant, which uh, kind of looks cute on him. I actually don't mind that. So uh, I'm going to leave that leg as just kind of a, uh, a demo and maybe I'll do this and kind of bend it out a little bit and maybe pull it out like that or something. And if I really wanted to round that out, I could uh, take these faces down here and kind of extrude those and center it, scale them in, and Kind of push it down like that. So it kind of creates a little bit of roundness at the bottom here just so it's not so flat. Okay, and then at the very end here I could take the vertex and kind of bring it to center here and pull that down just a little bit. Okay, so that kind of makes sort of a, a round leg like that. Okay, and again I need to kind of make uh, one more loop around here. I'll draw that in later. So for this side over here, I'm actually going to uh, take this leg off and sort of start it over. Make sure my symmetry is off and I'll just kind of model another version of a leg here. So I'm going to grab the edges and I'm going to extrude it and I've got my uh, generator on here again. So somehow it, that defaulted again. Okay, so I'm just going to center it and here I'm going to 
scale it now, so bring it in. So I'm making kind of a smaller leg here. So this is still kind of the socket area, uh, which I didn't do over here. We just kind of extruded straight down. So here I'm kind of making a, a socket first, and then I'm going to extrude it again, center it, push it down, and I think scale it in just a little more, kind of make some skinnier legs here. And uh, I'm getting a little off right here, so I want to kind of pull this up more towards the, the side. So I'm going to grab these edges here and move them out more like that. Okay, and then same thing here. I'm going to take these, actually I'm going to take the whole piece right here and kind of move it out and kind of scale it down more like that, just so it's angling down. Okay, so, and then if I want to kind of pull this in a little bit more. I've, uh, I've, I've drawn it very uh, angular over here, so uh, I would have to take this and really kind of narrow that in like that, and again push it over, and I'm just starting to get that kind of extreme angle. Okay, actually I kind of, uh, I like that on the 3D character, I think that's kind of working working nice, and then this area kind of flares out a little bit, so I'm going to push that out just a little more. Okay, and then from here I'm going to grab the edges around here and extrude again, center that, and I think I'll just go ahead and take it down here, scale it at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is actually take it to what's going to be the uh, ankle, and we'll model the foot separately on this one. So I'm going to do that, and scale this in, push that out a little bit, and then this is getting very skinny down here. I think I'm going to widen it up just a little bit. Drop in some edge loops for the knee area, and scale that, push it out a little bit, and go ahead and drop in just a couple more edges here, kind of the supporting edges like we did around the elbow. I'm kind of doing the same thing here around the knee. And then I can come in here, and he's got kind of these bent knees, so I can, um, actually let me go ahead and undo those two loops, pull the f pull this forward so he's got a little bit more of a bent knee, like that. Okay, let me just pull that up a little bit more. So that looks like that's pretty close to his knee. Okay, maybe he's a little bit uh, bow-legged there. I'm going to stick that out like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and drop those edge loops back in to support the knee joint right there. Okay, so that would be another approach right here. So two very different looking legs here. And uh, with this one, it's got kind of a finished foot. If I wanted to stick some little claws on here, I could uh, model those separately, or I could kind of extrude them out here of the face. Take these faces and now well, maybe I think probably this one here. So you can do an extrude and pull them out, and then you can come over here and say where, uh, where it says keep faces together, turn that off. And you can see I've kind of made some little nubby uh, toes here. Kind of push those in and kind of scale them a little bit and. Maybe do one more extrude. So maybe something well, maybe something kind of like that. So they're just starting to twist a little bit. I don't want them twisting. OK. 
okay and then we can uh, I'd probably want to pull these down a little bit because we've got this uh, space here at the bottom so I can either take this back up so I could select the vertices on the bottom here and kind of tuck them back up in here again and oops I took more than I needed so I'm going to just deselect those and pull that back up again and pull this little point in the center up and I can take uh, maybe these points here and go to actually I'm going to go to the side view and pull these down okay I'm just going to turn the grid back on and double check that so actually they're all just a little bit below the grid here so I'm just going to kind of pull everything back up right about there and tuck that in there. Okay, so this is kind of one approach that you can do if you want uh, some little toes like that. Okay, go back to perspective and kind of do that. And for this one here, uh, we would also want to do three loops around here. Um, he's got kind of chubby legs, but he still needs to have his knee kind of bend in this area. Okay, and then if you wanted to define that a little bit more, you could kind of take this back area and sort of tuck it in like that. And then if you want to pull the knee out a little bit, you can do that. Okay, so just little subtle things like that. And I'm not going to cut it in half. I'm just going to leave it like that and uh, I'll probably separate them and save them off as uh, separate shells and uh, offline and then come back here and continue modeling and we're going to come back and work on the horns in the next lesson.